I put makeup on just for this date, so it better go well. And I'm not posting this, probably, if it doesn't. It did not go well. Truthfully, it lasted less than two minutes. I walked up, he gave me a hug, and said, Are you hungry? Let's go inside. We went inside. He said, actually, can you step outside for a minute? I stepped back outside, and he said, I'm not trying to offend you, but I'm just not feeling it. So I walked to my car, came back home. Dating when you're fat sucks. At least he didn't waste your time. At least he told you right out the gate that he wasn't attracted to you and you were able to go home and process it. Would it be better if the guy like tried to, you know, wing it out a little bit, maybe lead you on, maybe you felt like he wasn't really into it. He led you on into the wrong direction or whatever. Probably not, in my opinion. It's probably way, 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 way better. And by the way, if you're dating, odds are you're dating a bunch of people. I don't know why so many people take these things so incredibly serious. Most people are going on a date, especially if they're dating, once or twice a week in some cases, um, especially women. I talked to a lot of women recently uh, that have been doing dating apps and stuff like that, and they've told me that they've had thousands of likes on their profile. Just for some perspective, most guys are maybe getting 30 or maybe 40 or 50 likes a week. Uh, a lot of women are getting thousands a day in some cases. Some guys, listen, the male strategy is literally just swipe infinitely on the things. It doesn't matter. Guys will literally pick and choose regardless because, listen, if I'm not getting a like back, it doesn't matter ultimately. There have been many times where I was on dating apps and I just did this. And then eventually when I got the matches back, I was like, oh, that's a that's a solid man. That's a full-blown man right there. And then you're thinking, David, it's probably not a man. It's probably like a transgender, right? No, it's a man. Look at the profile. It straight up says, I am a man. I like men. I don't like straight guys. I'm sorry. I don't like gay men. I like straight guys because I like the challenge of turning straight guys gay. So do with, it, do with that as you will. But at least the guy didn't waste your time. Um, I've been in situations before where I met up with somebody. I knew I didn't like them. I knew it. And you know what I did? I wasted their time. I sat there and I was entertaining them. We went to go get food. We did a whole bunch of shit. It wasn't worth it. I should have just said, listen, it's not going to work. I'm not physically attracted to you. I know that's an asshole thing to say. But, I mean, what, do you, what am I going to do, okay? It'd be better off if we just didn't waste each other's times and we just moved on. I know that being fat sucks, especially when it comes to dating. You have to understand that if you're fatter, it's going to be difficult across the board to date, period. It's just a ginormous debuff upon your, your stat line. If you were a 10, you're now a 5 because your body is literally being impeded by its own self. Most people are not attracted to unhealthy things. That's just not what it is, okay? If I see somebody that's a crackhead, I'm not attracted to them. If I see somebody that has major, major mental illness, I'm not attracted to them. In the same sense of like somebody that's overweight, they're monstrously over overweight, I'm not attracted to them. Most people are not. Now, listen, some of these things you can't change, but you can't fault that other person for not being attracted to that. Most people are not attracted to that. So... If this person is taking it this serious where they're about to cry in their own car because a two minute date, you got to listen. How old are you? You got to be like in your mid thirties, right? I'm seeing, I'm seeing the platinum in your hair, right? Diva's worst nightmare, but it's got to be said, you're an adult. You're a grown woman. You got to be able to deal with this stuff. Okay. You have to know that dudes is going to ghost. You have to know that dudes are not going to be taking you serious. You have to know that a lot of dudes are just there to smell your vagina and be breeze. So when you sit there and you're crying in your car about a guy that kept it a bucket you and said, listen, isn't going to work. That's like the most adult thing this guy can do. Now I, it, might, it probably doesn't feel that good, but let's be honest here for a second. It's the best thing that could have possibly happened. Cause wow. Good morning. <laughs> This was actually mature of him. Why take it, why fake it, and then ghost her later? The only confusing thing to me is, uh, did he not see a pictures of you before the date? It's a good question. Of all the videos- but, Let's talk about this for one second. Usually, usually if you're fatter and you post pictures of yourself on the internet, that doesn't necessarily mean that that's a good reflection of who you are. There have been many times where I saw somebody's pictures and then when you meet up with them, you're like, this picture was from like, what, four or five years ago, dude? Like, why are you literally 80 pounds different compared to the, then and now? So just because somebody posts pictures of themselves and you might think they're accurate, that doesn't necessarily mean they're accurate. A lot of people that are taking pictures are choosing between like, listen, most guys do this. Most guys are taking one picture. And that's all we have. We take one picture, we post it on Instagram. That's the only picture we upload for a month, two months, three months. Girls, on the other hand, are taking five, six, seven, eight, 20 pictures at a time. And they're they're going through them. They're finding out the ones that make them look ugly, the ones that make them look fat, the ones that their hair isn't right. Oh, my skin isn't looking too good in this one. The sun is in my face. The lighting isn't great. It's just like, what are you talking about, right? But 
20, 30 pictures at a time. And they're finding that one picture that looks the best. And that's the one they're going to upload. So when you see that picture, that's not necessarily what she looks like. That just might be a really, really, really good picture. Some really, really, really good lighting. And that's the most optimal for that particular picture. Now, it's a good idea, generally speaking, of what she looks like. But when you meet up with that person, you might see some differences. People look different from day to day. Videos that I've posted on the internet, this is not the one that I expected to get all these views. And this is no hate to this comment. Please do not be mean to this person. I just want to address it. Why would we be mean to this person? That's a pretty good question. I don't think anybody is. Why would anybody be mean? That's a generally speaking, good question. Because I was asked this so many times. I make it very clear on my dating apps that I am plus size. I what does plus size mean exactly? That's a little bit ambiguous because when you say plus size, I know people that are plus size. I know people that are like, they should be hypothetically speaking, they should be uh, 150, but they're like 170, 180, 190. That's plus size. If you're 100 over, if you're 200 over, are you plus size? I don't think so. You're big, you're ginormity. You're literally like a nuclear submarine compared to like a U-boat back in World War II. You're ginormous. It's a difference, okay? Now, I understand it's very favorable nowadays to use these, it's like these very, very demure terms, right? These very, very flavored terms. He's like beat around the bush, beat around the bush words, right? Because it's easier to say I'm plus size than it is to say I'm obese because obese has a, a major negative annotation behind it. And at least when you say plus size, it's a little bit more flavorful. It doesn't tell you as much. So I understand when people say it, we got to get better at language because just saying plus size is not enough. Okay. Like if I'm looking at you and you say I'm plus size, what does that mean exactly? Can you tell me the weight? Cause like to me, that doesn't mean anything. Right. That'd be like if a guy said like, Oh, Hey, are you gay or straight? You said, you know, yeah. Like, well, hold up now. What does that mean exactly? You gotta have to go into it. You can't just say yeah. And then just expect me to know which one I, that was a yes or no. Are you gay or are you not gay? Let me know. You can't just be ambiguous on that shit. Do you facilitate the lips upon another man or do you not? That's all I need to know. The same thing here. If you're plus size, I don't know what that means. I know at least that you're a little bit over the weight, but that's all I know. So you're going to have to be more specific than that. I use lots of full body pictures on my profiles. Show us. Show us the full body pictures. And I also... Great teeth. Great teeth. Be just amazing. A little bit chap lips. It's okay though. Tell them that I'm a plus size girl and that I'm probably bigger than they expect. I I'm probably bigger than, than you expect is... Very, very, very concerning. What do you mean by I'm probably a lot bigger than you expect? What, give me the weight. Give me the height to weight. That's all I need to know. Like, give me the, if, if somebody hits me with that, if, if I'm talking to somebody and they go, listen, I'm going to keep it a bug with you. When we meet up, I'm probably going to be way bigger than you think I am. I'm going to be like, <laughs> What the fuck? First of all, dude, uh, I'm expecting a Prius. Are you about to be a Greyhound? Like, what do you mean exactly, bro? Get, tell me the height. How tall are you? Always start off with the height. How tall are you? Uh, I'm five foot four. How, how, how much you weigh? How much you fucking weigh? What's your dress size, bro? Because that, it, it, bro, what do you mean? That's such a crazy ass thing to say. I, you're literally coming at me with like, just to let you know, just in case, I'm big. I'm really big. That's very concerning, bro. That's not something that anybody wants to hear. I don't use filters. I Come on now. Stop it. I saw that first video. You was using filter in that last video. I saw that shit. I don't use filters on dating apps. I don't use filters on here. Sometimes I will turn on beauty mode and... Is that not a filter? Is that not what a filter is, dude? Beauty mode? Okay, well, whatever, dude. Tomatoes, tomatoes to me, bro. Whatever the fuck you want to say. You use filters. I saw the last video. For full disclosure, I did have beauty mode on yesterday. Okay. Well, you know what? To sit there and say, I don't use filters, but you want to have this like arbitrary line of what you call and what you do not call a filter. That's fine. Most people are going to probably look at that beauty thing as a filter. I'm pretty sure they qualify as a filter when you're going through Snapchat. Sorry, not Snapchat. When you're going through TikTok, it does classify it as a filter. I'm pretty sure it's literally there as filter, but I guess whatever, bro. I'm not here to, <laughs> it's a weird way of saying you do, you don't use filters that much, but let's be honest, you was using a filter. But I don't use filters. Another I don't use filters, but I did use a filter, but I don't use filters. Thing, I didn't have blush on yesterday. I don't care. Can you actually answer the question? I don't even understand why that's even like, what does that even matter? Nobody gives a fuck. What are you, what are you doing here? Literally haven't been wearing face makeup since May because I went to the beach a lot and my foundation doesn't match and I can't afford a new foundation just for the summer. And I, I don't understand the relevance of this. Are you just trying to make us feel bad for you? Are you trying to like disqualify? Are you trying to like... I, I've, I've seen this before. Instead of people getting to the point, they, they want to like debuff themselves or they want to make it seem like they're in a bad position. So that way, when they actually say what they're about to say, it's like, oh, even though I'm a really shit person, 
I'm in a shit situation. So, you know, it, it should be, I should be given a little bit of grace. Nah, just talk about the shit. I don't care that you don't got enough money for makeup. I don't really understand why. What do you even mean you don't have enough money for makeup, dude? It, it, I don't know. Whatever, bro. Fine. You don't have enough money for makeup. What's the relevance of talking about that? I don't know. Especially given the fact that nobody's even talking about that here. So I haven't been wearing anything but eye makeup for months. Does anybody care? I understand that it's difficult for everyone to date. It's not just that I'm bigger that it makes it difficult. It does suck to be fat in dating. And I have done a lot of work to neutralize the word fat. So when I say fat, please understand I don't mean ugly. I know, you're using the word plus size. You think that plus size is a better word, so. Um, I do think that I'm very pretty. I've... Mm, I mean, we're all entitled to our own opinions. I think I'm black. Huh. Uh, my bad, okay, maybe that was a little bit too far. <laughs> my bad, dude. But uh, the point I'm making is just because somebody thinks themselves as that thing doesn't mean that's gonna reflect in reality in the same way. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah, my... My Honda Accord, my 99 Accord is a Lamborghini, you know? No, it's not. It's not. That's all I'm saying. Spent this entire year trying to um, love myself again because I just came out of a two-year-long toxic relationship. I just don't understand the point of this. Like, we're just going through the, like, the Wikipedia page right now, just making sure that everybody writes this down just so that way whenever... She hasn't got to the point yet. She hasn't actually talked about what the reason was why she made that video and why it's so fucked up when in all reality that was probably the best outcome you could probably get that where i kicked my ex-boyfriend out of my house and nobody cares i don't know why you even talking about this shit like what are you doing right now are you trying to make it seem like you're just a better person than you actually are so now we're supposed to feel bad for you because you're poor because you can't afford makeup which is a weird flex and then now you're also going to feel bad because you were in an abusive relationship where your boyfriend was kicked out of your apartment listen that sucks why the fuck are you telling me this right now huh? i'm the internet right now but largely speaking i don't give a fuck Okay, we're talking about the video that you're talking about. I understand that you think this is going to add context or something like that because you grew as a person and somehow this is going to like disqualify you from making a bad, a bad video like you just did and somehow like trying to refresh our ideas of like who you are. Nah, I don't care. I don't really give a fuck, bro. We've all been through some shit. I don't really care about this situation. Maybe you guys think I'm an asshole for that, but make no mistake about it. This is her trying to give herself a buffer period of like, just so everybody knows, even though a lot of people think I'm shit here, Here's the context of why I'm so shit, and, <laughs> and you should feel bad for me. So just let everybody know that is indeed what is going on here. November, and so I've spent this whole year working on myself, physically, emotionally, financially, mentally, all of it. And I've come a long way. I had just finished telling my friend walking into the restaurant how much um, I've improved and how much I love myself now versus at the beginning of the year. I don't care. I just, I'm sorry, maybe I'm an asshole. Uh, don't care. What is the relevance of this? It, it doesn't seem like this is relevant at all, but go off, queen. I just kind of Keep telling us about the backstory instead of getting to the point of the video. We're almost halfway in. I started dipping my toes back into dating a little bit ago. This was just a vulnerable moment that I put out on the internet. Which you shouldn't have done, right? I'm sick of people doing this shit. And then when people call them out on it, they, they like backtrack so heavily. Uh, you're not supposed to post vulnerable moments of yourself on the internet because people will say terrible, disgusting stuff about you. Now, granted, if you're okay with that and you understand that, um, you know, people, if you can't handle the heat, you're going to have to be in the kitchen and all that other stuff right now. I would never recommend anybody, especially if you're an emotional person that it does impulse type things to post yourself crying or a very emotional state on the internet. I would always suggest people give themselves a, some time, uh, talk to friends and family. The internet's just not the place for it. The internet is literally, uh, it could be a great place but it can also be a very bad place. And most people make it a very bad place because it's easier to do that than it is to be nice. So I would never recommend doing that. Because I am very vulnerable here. So you're just like forgiving yourself that you're like, you're literally making your own excuses of why you fucked up. Okay. I want other girls to know that they're not alone. And no, you didn't do it for other girls. That's not how that is. You did that for selfishness. You thought you hashtag eight queen. And <laughs> you did that because you thought that th this was a way to own him or just to be a pick me about it. And now you're trying to back up and be like, but I'm doing this for other people. No, you're not. That's come on now. Let's be honest here for a second. That'd be like me going, I'm posting these videos for all the secretly big meated men out there because any guy with a big mustache knows you have a big meat too. Nah, I'm not. I'm nope. Let's be honest. You did it for attention. It's okay. It's all right, dude. You know what it is. I know what it is. You don't have to lie. Why are you lying? You don't need to lie. And so um, I share a lot here and this was no exception. I didn't. The hero we need, not the one we deserve, right? Expect this to get more than like 200 views. 
I do really quickly want to say that I have an incredible mom. I know in my what is uh, what is that? What are we doing right now, dude? We're halfway through the video and we haven't even got to the point of the video yet. What does your mom have to do with anything about this, man? Response video to that meaning comment. The last line I said was, "I had a mom for that." Um, my mom got everything right in raising me, except for my relationship with food and relationship with my body. That she lets you become fat. She lets you become fat and she enabled you. I mean, that makes sense, yeah. At least you can acknowledge it, right? Or maybe she means in the other direction. Maybe she thinks that, like, dieting is bad and that, like, her mom trying to tell her that obesity is bad is, like, actually the problem. I don't know, dude. What? Um, but I was raised in the middle of a toxic diet culture and... Okay, it's the other way then. It's the other way. It's literally her mom was trying to get her in shape or, like, not let her be fat or something like that. And I guess she, like, I don't know, feels some type of resentment to her mom because of that even though that's literally what your mom's supposed to do i mean you know like i'm sick of people thinking that your parents are supposed to be your friends they're not they're supposed to be people that are responsible for you and they're supposed to understand that even though uh they're the people that are going to take care of you they sometimes they're going to make hard decisions that may may be a little bit toxic or a little bit not so beneficial for you right now but the long-term effect of that is much more beneficial so yes it sucks that you're obese right now and you want to continue eating but your mom or whoever it is putting you know saying no to that and making you eat less is going to be much more value much more valuable for you later on in life so i know that a lot of people will hold resentment for this particular aspect that's literally what parents are supposed to do they're not supposed to be your friend they're not supposed to be like it's okay to be friendly with your kid it's okay to have like emotional in-depth conversations but understand the barrier understand the boundary you're not a friend you're a parent dude understand that and my mom got everything else right and i'm very close to her and i love her very much and so i do wish i would have edited that part out of the video but i think a lot of other women my age can probably relate um because they were raised in a similar climate this person was respectful of my time i will agree with that okay. however um when he pulled me outside of the restaurant there was a group of about 15 people waiting for their tables to be, so? be put together to go inside and so there were less people inside than outside of the restaurant at this point so it would have been less embarrassing to just tell me in the restaurant that you're stupid then there there would have been no listen dude i this is a major copium it would have been regardless of where this happened she would have had the same complaint make no mistake about it this woman is coping hard right now she's trying to grasp onto reasons of why she's right because she doesn't want to be wrong and she doesn't want the internet to deem her as wrong she's wrong it is what it is dude you would have been embarrassed regardless okay so like a guy pulling you outside the restaurant and going like hey i you know i can't do this right now I don't care. Like, if anybody else saw that, what does that have to do with anything? Like, it's not like you're ever going to see those people ever again. And if you do ever see those people again, what the fuck does it matter? What are they even going to say to you? Hey, what about that one time that you were outside that restaurant and that guy said something to you that I don't know about? And then you went to the, you know, you, you went to your car and you went to their car. That was really embarrassing, huh? Wouldn't it be more embarrassing to post a video on the internet for thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands of people to see literally you crying in your car about a guy literally saying that he doesn't want to talk to you or like go on a date with you and literally was a gentleman about it and said that he wasn't trying to do that? I just don't understand. Like if you were, if, the, okay, you don't actually care. You don't actually care about being embarrassed. Okay. If the claim is that you were embarrassed because people outside saw that you got curved from a guy. Why the fuck would that matter given the fact that you posted a video and you thought you was going to get 200 views, which is way more than 15 people. So why the hell do you care at all? Like, this is not your point. This is not a real point. You're just coming up with something to try to grasp at straws right now. This makes no sense. And I know you know this makes no sense. Stop being a shit human being and just, just represent. Just say with your chest. I felt bad. I shouldn't have posted a video. Just say that shit, okay? He wasn't a bad guy. He kept it a buck with me. Though, you know, even though I told him this, things change, things happen. It is what it is. That's all you gotta say. I don't know why the fuck you grasping at stars right now to make it seem like you're a better person than you actually are. It makes you look like a shitter person. Waiting for their tables to be put together to go inside. And so there were less people inside than outside of the restaurant at this point. So it would have been less embarrassing to just tell me in the restaurant than to pull me outside in front of those people. But you told the entire internet that you got curbed. So what is the point? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, is 15 people more people than the thousands of people that have watched this video and the video before this? Like, okay. And I knew some of those people. I don't care. Um, do people not watch your TikTok? Like, does that fucking matter? It doesn't matter if you knew those people. How do you know people that work at that restaurant? What are you even talking about? What? And why does it matter? It doesn't. You posted this video to hundreds of thousands of people. <laughs> and as I walked away, 
because I didn't sit there and try to have a conversation when he said, I'm not feeling it. I said, okay. And I started walking to my car and then he, I heard him say, I'm sorry. It's, it's your rate. So that's a lie. I'm going to call it out. This is a lie. This is a flat lie. This is definitely something that you should have said in the initial video. And that would have made your case a lot more better because that, that piece of context adds so much so much okay but you didn't say that why wouldn't you say that in the initial the initial video she's lying i don't believe anything she's saying right now this whole situation um that she's making up in her head about the whole like oh there were more people outside and he called me fat while i was walking away he screamed it across the thing so other people heard that didn't happen i'm gonna call i'm gonna keep it a buck with you okay this whole situation that she is made up she's just making up the situation to make it seem like she's in a worse position than she actually is because people were calling her out on the fact that this guy was treating her well and she has to make this guy seem like he didn't treat her well so i'm gonna call bullshit this is a lie and i'm also gonna bring up again if you cared so much about what 15 people thought why do you not care about what hundreds of thousands of people thought that shit makes no sense. You're just making shit up. <laughs> You're literally reaching OD here to try to come up with a point. It's not even a good point. I hope they, uh, did you did you write this down, dude? I could have come up with something better than this. Okay, and I started walking to my car and then he, I heard him say, I'm sorry, it's it's your rate. So he confirmed no, it. That's not, no, that's not true. 100%. No, he did not confirm it. That's not a true statement. Because she would have said that in the initial video. There's no reason why you wouldn't say that in the initial video. It's just not how that works at all. Other than getting raped and murdered, this is kind of a worst case scenario. In Are you fucking crazy? Are you crazy, bro? Are you crazy right now? Hold up now. Are you insane? Other than the two worst things that could ever happen to somebody, that's right after that? Are you crazy? <laughs> uh, okay, damn. Um, that I mean, that's all you gotta say, bro. So, grape and then being murdered and then a guy going, never mind, I don't want to do this anymore. And then walking away. Uh, in that order, huh? In that order? Wow. I, I mean, what? Well, that's crazy. Um, damn, I did not know that it was like that. I, I can't even, what, what do you, what would you say like a toxic relationship is? That, that, that's way far off that, huh? Wow. Uh, getting stabbed? No. Nah. Getting beat up? No, no, no. Not getting beat up. Cat call? Not even in there. Getting, getting a guy saying like, you know, it's not going to work. Uh, you know, we would probably just walk away not wasting your time acting like a gentleman yeah nah like that's obviously way worse right beautiful amazing person right here dude that should tell you everything you need to know this is a mentally deranged individual after that statement being said dude nope not taking anything she say serious bro this woman is literally stupid there's nothing to say about it than that dumb person right here i can't even believe those words came out of her mouth you are literally devaluing anytime those anytime those two things happen to people you are literally devaluing that by saying that statement and not only that you're devaluing a whole bunch of other stuff that happens as well because you're basically saying that a guy just saying like oh no it isn't gonna work is worse than like anything else okay great person amazing person well he confirmed it other than getting raped and murdered, this is kind of a worst case scenario in dating, right? You no, it's not. You're fucking crazy, bro. What are you talking about? Get out of the car and you're like giving yourself the pep talk to walk up there to this stranger. You're 40, right? Like how old are you? Like 35, 40, bro? What you mean you're giving yourself a pep talk, dude? You ain't date before, bro? Come on, man. It ain't that big of a deal. And you're like, what's the worst thing that can happen? Oh, you could walk away as soon as he sees me. But that like actually happened to me. That's the worst case scenario to you? You are outside of reality you are so out of touch who are you <laughs> what universe are you from where that's the worst case scenario okay that's the worst case scenario have you ever dated before have you actually ever had human being contact before have you talked to anybody else before are you crazy you think this video actually remedies anything that you said in that other video this makes it worse everything that i thought about you prior has been amplified by immeasurable amounts i do not like you and you are a shit human being for what you just said definitively you're a shit human being i pray to jesus or whatever deity you pray to that you take down this video because it just makes you look like a terrible person probably take down this video and the video before this one because you are a shit human being and you're putting it fully on display none of your points make any sense you literally contradict yourself after contradicting yourself and you have made up stuff to try to make it seem like you are in the right when you're not in the right entitlement man entitlement really entitlement but you know yeah worst case scenario definitely
<laughs> and this person, we've been talking for a couple of weeks, and so, we talked on the phone for three and a half hours the night before. And don't, I don't care. What is the relevance of that? Like, what are you? Like, oh, because we talked on the phone for three hours. He should just stick it out with me, even though he finds me fundamentally unattractive. No, it's not how that works. Why are you so entitled? You are an entitled person. You are just putting it fully on display. Told him again on the phone that I was plus size. What does that matter? What does that matter, dude? Once you see it in real life, you don't want to do it anymore because guess what? That'd be like going get buying a car. And then when you got the guy goes, hey, listen, the car might have a little bit more the work to be done. Um, even though you said you want to buy it, but once you see the car, it might not be exactly what you look for. And then you go and you see, you, know, you, you fully intended to buy the car. But when you get there, you're like, oh, the bumper is hanging off. It's not exactly what you thought. There are hidden things that you didn't necessarily see before. I'm not going to buy the car. But the other guy's going, but you said you were going to buy the car. You said that car was, you, you, you said this car was, yeah, you said you were going to buy it. What's, 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 what, what, what's up? I thought you were going to buy the car. It's fucked up. The car is fucked up, bro. I was going to buy the car, but it looks like it's a lot worse than you said it was. So I'm not doing that. Same thing here. Just because you said a whole bunch of stuff doesn't mean that when the person showed up, they're not entitled to feel what they're going to feel. All right. Stupid person. Dumb person. Dumb, stupid, entitled, fucking useless person. 40. This person's like 40 years old or something, dude. How the fuck did you make it this far in dating and never? Have you ever dated people before? Have you ever talked to a human being before? And that um, he told me that that wasn't a problem for him and that he didn't think that it was fair that I felt the need to keep saying that um, just so that he was aware. You're such a victim, man. Victimizing yourself, man. This this, this is this literally her, a pick-me woman, a woman that's like, I don't know, 35 or whatever, dude, uh, being a pick-me about it, literally acting entitled, literally trying to put it fully on display. All those things that she had listed out, those prerequisites to ensure that whatever she's about to say is qualified was all bullshit. The story that she made up, bullshit. All the shit she's saying right now, bullshit. Anyways... <sighs> I am so thankful to all of the wonderful comments that I got. I am blown away by the kindness of strangers constantly. Um, I've never felt so mortified than when I was walking back to my car yesterday. You, you live a sheltered lifestyle. If you think that was the most mortified moment of your life, was walking back to your car after a guy looked at you and said, it isn't going to work. You are out of touch. You don't live in reality like the rest of us. People actually have to deal with real problems in life and people go through stuff, okay? Like people are losing family members, people are dealing with disease, people are dealing with losing their jobs, and you're dealing with people, a guy looking at you and going, it's not gonna work. And you are saying that's the worst part. You are a terrible human being. You are actually a terrible human being. And you are disqualifying everything that everybody else has to go for, go through, because you get some real experience, okay? You making this video, and by the way, you literally just said that you were emotional and that you didn't think it was a good idea to be emotional. And now here you are being emotional. Are you, are you fucking stupid? Are you actually a dumb human being? Or like, is this you 3D chesting yourself, trying not to seem as retarded as you actually are? Wow, uh, my bad. I don't mean to go off on this woman as much as I am, but this woman is actually diabolical and she's stupid. Anybody that defends this woman is, you're dumb too. Yeah, I gotta keep it a buck. You're a stupid person as well. If you think this woman is in the right in any way, you're fucking stupid. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Never felt so mortified than when I was walking back to my car yesterday and I've never felt so uplifted than when I woke up this morning. Yeah, keep crying about it. Keep crying about it. It's really, it's really great. Glaze the eyes. Sir. It really adds a piece of authentic, authentic, authenticity to it. To the thousands of comments telling me that I was beautiful. <laughs> so you think that like people on the internet telling you that you're beautiful is valuable in any way? <laughs> And that I was worthy and I don't need people to tell me that I'm worthy. I know where my, I know where my worth comes from. Pizza. But Cake. it doesn't hurt to hear it either. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Pick me. Pick me. Pick me, woman. You are a grown up. It's okay if you were like 21, 22. I'll give you a little bit of, I'll give you a little bit of leeway, a little bit of slack, if you will. You gotta be in your mid thirties, right? I mean, sheesh, bro. You kind of up there. You up there, bro. You got you. Yeah. What am I supposed to do about this other than call you out on your bullshit, your hogwashity? You're literally complaining and crying on the internet about a guy that left you, and you're trying to pre-qualify it. And you had the worst take of this video, saying that shit's worse than the worst things ever. Uh. 
and I said, okay, and I started walking to my car, and then he, I heard him say, I'm sorry, it's, it's your- Damn, this video hit me so hard. She's- More than Tracy, I don't think is actually that dumb of a person. I don't think that she's that stupid. Uh, I really, I saw that video, okay? I saw that she had replied to the video, and I was like, oh, man. Maybe she calls it out. Maybe more than Tracy calls it out. I mean, obviously, she's not going to, but maybe she calls it out. Maybe she says, like, you're really giving us fat people a bad name by saying a whole bunch of bullshit. You're saying, you know, maybe she calls her out on that whole, like, R word and the murder thing. Maybe she does, but let's, I mean, I'm willing to listen. I don't know. Go ahead. He says in the video, this is kind of your worst fear in dating, to show up to a date and somebody sees you and walks the other direction. And as a plus-size person, this has certainly held me back from dating, like, did you not hear what she said? Did you not understand the words that came out of her mouth? She said, besides getting R-worded and besides getting murdered, this is the worst thing. And you agree? You agree? You're just not going to talk about it? You're just not going to say any words about that at all? Like, you're not going to touch on that at all? Listen, if you're not willing, if you're not willing to actually talk about the things of value and you want to nitpick and you want to cherry pick things um don't don't, don't make this video because it just makes you look like an asshole it, 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 honestly speaking it just makes you look like a complete dis, just a, de, a a desert of lost hope of a person dude you are actually a spineless coward okay if you don't want to call it out you're a fucking you're literally a jellyfish you would think that somebody has as much weight as this person does would have some type of backbone nothing dude nothing i don't know what's holding up back there like my entire life and i've i've seen it happen to a lot of people on tiktok we got to get rid of this trend of people doing skincare while they talk about stuff i'm sick of seeing this shit like get do something else man go play with lego sets go make a cup of tea i don't know bro go go like chop onions something some anything anything better than this dude come on and you know it's it's tough in these situations because you can't really fault somebody for just not being attracted to you and i yeah, think you can't fault them at all that dude did the right thing she just made up a lie in a story I right, think we have a real culture that uh, hates wasting time. So it makes sense for people. A lot of people are just going to say, I don't want to waste your time. I'm going to tell you straight up yeah. that you don't look like your pictures to me or I think they didn't say that at all. He just said he just said straight out like, hey, it's not going to work. And he just left. So he didn't even say any of that. You, you know, you're, you're adding a whole bunch of nuance to this, but it's nothing to it. It's just, you know, even though she did add that little piece at the end there. That was not said. That's a lie. And the fact that you're not calling out on that is actually kind of crazy as well. Catfish or whatever, you know, it's okay. You're not their type. They told you right away. You could see that as doing a kindness. True. And she does say that in the video. But there are other elements of this situation that make it very clear. This man was not being kind. Listen to me, Tracy. If you watch the initial video, right, which we just did at the very beginning of this video, she didn't specify that at all. She just said she met up with a guy. She was feeling happy. She walked into the restaurant. The guy walked out with her and said, listen, it's not going to work. Sorry. And then walked off. That's what she said. That's That was her initial thing. If she added more to it at that point, it would have made sense. She didn't. She added it later on, which gives me the impression that she read the comments. She saw that people weren't on her side. And so she had to reinforce it. She had to steel man her position with extra information that wasn't relevant. And she made up to try to make it seem like her point was more valid, which it's not. You taking that information and trying to make it seem like that's more valid, you're dumb. Maybe I'm just like, maybe I'm just like the most intelligent person on the planet, but I know I'm not. I know most people would probably agree with me on this. Why the fuck would you not add that piece of information at the very beginning of that video in order to remedy out? Because if you said that, if you said, oh, the guy said I was fat as fuck, and it's not going to work. And then we ran off or whatever. That would, all right, yeah, ah, okay. That makes sense, right? No, he didn't. Okay. This is a lie. She just said that just to make it seem like her story is more validified. And he is... Uh, completely at fault for this and I really okay he's at fault for what for her mental breakdown on the internet for what what is he at fault for for keeping it a buck what should he have done more than tracy should he just have sat there looked at a person he thought was fundamentally unattractive and just maintains frame are you crazy so what so not wasting your time so you want somebody to waste your time okay all right can't win with these people, man. I don't usually fault people for like, oh, you didn't like them. You rejected them. It's fine. No, you just want to take the victim side here, even though literally she's not the victim. But in this case, I do fault him. And there are a few reasons for oh. this. And so I just want to explain that because I think it's like pretty nuanced when you're dating and you maybe are attracted to the person in the end or whatever. Like 
but what are the things that I will fault you for? What are the ways in which this man actually did treat her like absolute shit and I hate his guts and I want him to pay? Can you just tell us instead of like shitting on this guy that you don't even know of that literally was made up a story about? Go ahead. Anyway, they met on a dating app. She's posted all of her dating app profiles and you can completely tell her body size from them. They're there is no question, and it is on this man. If he didn't scroll through the photos, if he didn't look at her photos and only looked at the first one that's of her face, it's pretty standard to put your face in your first photo. Like, I don't know, man. I think it's- Stop trying to reframe the argument. We know, and you know, that just because you have photos that perfectly reflect the way that you are, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna perfectly re reflect the way that they are, that you are. There's a lot of stuff that you're gonna leave out. There's a lot of stuff that you're not gonna be able to put. It's just how dating apps are, okay? So when you go on a date and you see that person for the first time, many things change. Many things change. Maybe you thought you wanted something, but then when you showed up, you saw it, you're like, never mind, I don't want it anymore, right? I've done it many times. You've done it many times. I've, I'm still doing it. Listen. Being a dude such as myself, I need new pants. All my pants are ripped currently. All of them, literally. They're almost all ripped. I have one pair of jeans left. I go down to the store and I'm like, I'm gonna buy these jeans. And then when I show up and look at the rack, I'm like, I don't wanna do this anymore. I don't want to anymore. I don't feel like doing this. So I just go home. Many people do that. Okay, we all have experiences where we see something and we thought we wanted it, but we looked at it again and we said, never mind. I don't want this anymore. And that could have been what he did. Maybe he thought he was. We don't even necessarily even know if he thought that she was unattractive based off the looks. We don't know necessarily that it was other things. We don't know. Okay. We know that her hogwash story of him saying that, you know, he, he said that it was because of her weight, which I'm thinking is a lie, a complete lie. I'm actually 100% sure that was a lie. I don't care what you have to say. Okay. I did. Um, it, it, that doesn't matter to me. Just because somebody has good profile pictures doesn't mean anything. Okay. That just means that they got good profile pictures and that's not a perfect reflection of their body. And by the way, have you seen what she looks like completely? Have you met her up in public? Have you been out with her? No, you haven't. So what are you even talking about? Man? What are you even saying? Right? How do you know that perfectly reflects her body? And even if it did, so the fuck what? Things change, right? It's on him if he did not click through the little boxes. And then she also had told him on the phone that she was fat and like, warned him and he was like oh stop warning me why are you trying to warn me and then he immediately rejects her and tells her it's because of her weight which is a lie by the way the telling her because if it's her weight is not true not true more than tracy man dude i would love to talk to more than tracy about this shit bro the fact that she could say this shit and there are people in the comment section agreeing with her or is everybody just dumb are you guys all just flat stupid no my bad fat stupid this is a made up story. You do understand that whole like extra of like he said that he was she was fat, completely made up. That's not true. That's not true at all. That shit was added on in a prior video to make it seem like her her, her case was more more solid. She had a reason. Okay. Bad take. Bad take more than Tracy. Lost respect. What what what? I understand if the person had not warned, if the photos had not shown it. To immediately be like, hey, you're actually really not my physical type. Fine. But that is not what happened here. Something else happened here. I I want to know. I want to investigate. I, Jesus Christ. And then the other thing is that he tells her this. So he, he says, let's go into the restaurant. And then he pulls her back out and says, actually, come outside the restaurant. Outside the restaurant is where a bunch of people are standing, as she says in this video. So he's taken her into a more public place to reject her this could almost be innocent but uh more than tracy real quick if she actually did care about being in a public format and being embarrassed in a public format why would you then post a video of yourself crying on the internet talking about how a guy rejected you and then complain that people in public 15 people on public saw you getting rejected but the thousands of people on the internet that saw you getting rejected that doesn't matter huh it's just not it's not the same huh it's not the same but then, as none of it makes sense. None of it makes sense. And the fact that more than Tracy is not calling it out means that more than Tracy is purposely being ignorant here, or she's just actually stupid. She, she hears the rejection. She turns around and walks to her car immediately, as she should, because he's not wasting her time. So why would she waste her time? And as she turns around and walks to her car, he goes, "Sorry, it's just your weight." Which is a made-up thing. After. Last night on the phone, he said, stop telling me you're fat. After 
he pulled her out into a more public place with more people to do this rejection and she's walked away. She does not want to continue the conversation. It almost feels like she's now done her own sort of rejection of him and cut it off. And so he needs to tell her what, why would you need to say that? To say that in public as she, you know why? Because he never said that. That was just a made up part of the story more than Tracy, but you're too dense to understand that. She's walking away. Just feels like such an intentional move to humiliate her further. I- You know why it feels like that? Because it didn't happen and she knew that if she added that part in, it would make it feel like it's a lot worse. So it didn't actually happen, but go off, hey, Queen. this man. And I don't usually comment on these things. And I don't think- You it shouldn't. This is a bad take. This is a really bad take more than Tracy. I'm gonna hit you up. I'm gonna hit you up. We're gonna find out. It's wrong to have a physical type preference or whatever inherently but to treat somebody this way in public after they have done everything they possibly could do to let you know what you were getting into why i oughta all right guys that's that's it i can't do this anymore i don't know what's up with that woman i think she actually might be brain dead or she's suffering from some like, major mental collapse i have no idea but beyond stupid let me know what you guys think down below about this particular video. I'm very interested in having to hear what you have to say about that. Maybe I'm just dead wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. But you guys can let me know down below. By the way, uh, I appreciate if everybody can leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video. All those things I'd appreciate tremendously. So if you do any of that stuff for me, I would appreciate you tremendously. Um, if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're right now, here, here right now, leave it down below by typing in lemon. Um, very, very citrusy. Very, very sour, just like that woman. Uh, that couldn't cope with the fact that she was your own worst enemy. But anyway, leave me down below. I appreciate everybody, by the way. I appreciate you. You delicate, beautiful, awesome, spectacular person. I love the way you eat food with the spoon. I think it's great. I like the way that you don't stick out your tongue when you eat it, too. That's really cool. I love that about you. Uh, by the way, you smell really great today. I love the way your feng shui is. It's very, very, very cutesy, very demure. Anyway, guys. Uh, if you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace!